So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. A little juke. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, Good through the air and really all around. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ty Law. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Tucker now for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. To throw once more on second and ten. Griffin. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? He's got a man. It's Chad Johnson, and he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Let's go now. 60 On the ball, on the ball now. Play action, it's Griffin. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. It's Griffin. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. Oh, fourth down now coming up. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on the punt for the first time this afternoon. Fifty-one yards on the punt there. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Yeah. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Johnson running right to about the 40-yard line. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The throw over the middle taken in, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. The Pro Bowl in to Marcus Ware there to take him down. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Here's Cunningham. Throwing quickly for Mike Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The tight end is certainly in position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. They've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here we go. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. A give up the middle to Johnson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Cunningham looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Alert! Alert! Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Christian Okoye, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news. Plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Just a yard and a pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On the jet sweep, this is Johnson. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets sweep. If they don't slow him up, 
he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Throwing there, but this pass is going to lead up incomplete. Defensively, mission accomplished. And now, with under three to go, they may be the last team holding the football. They may very well be the last team holding the football, unless, of course, you're facing a group that is really aggressive offensively and may want to take a gamble. But theoretically, you've done your job now. You should get the ball back on a punt, but I'd be alert for a fake. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Hey, hey, The give to the fullback on the dive. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Now Cunningham. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. On third and two, Cunningham. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst of And this is going to be intercepted. Snatched by the safety, Ed Reed. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. But such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. To throw on second down, Cunningham. The quick slant caught. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. This for the lead in the final stages. Tucker's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And he definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Second and 10. Here's Griffin. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Come back to you. Come back to you. Griffin. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted.